This case was in, this case was inspired by Hunt for Red October. <laughs> All of a sudden, Sean Connery shows up. Except it's called Con Connery. Everybody, quick, get out of the ship. <laughs> Con Connery is amazing. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I am your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Hello. And our actual lawyer, Bridge. 07734. What is that? Put on a calculator, flip it upside down. Uh, uh, I get it. God, I said hello. Oh. Hey. Uh. Hey. 8008. Oh, uh-huh. scandalous, uh-huh. horny jail, Wes. Uh, hey, all right, I'm going. <laughs> Folks, if you've never tuned in before, uh, you can catch the show live on twitch.tv slash save data team every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, however, it will not be next week. Uh, Spridges will be on vacation. However, we do have something Woo! planned for you that I think you all like. We will be playing the game Overboard, which is a murder mystery game in which you are the murderer. Uh, and there are plenty of fun. Finally. <laughs> There are plenty of fun little characters and stuff like that for uh, Wes to wet his voice acting whistle with. Uh, so I think y'all will want to tune in for that and have a fun time as well. But the very following week, we'll start with uh, the next case in the series. Or in this game, I should say. But if not, no worries. The sh- edited versions of the show go up on Monday and Tuesday on our YouTube. Uh, and hey, if you'd like to go over to our Patreon, that's patreon.com slash save data team. Uh, throw us a couple bucks, keep the lights on, and uh, get our ever-loving support i don't know why i said ever loving support is weird <laughs> yeah i ever loving support but without further ado let's get into the video game Woo! also what's up everybody thanks for joining us tonight absolutely thank you i'm happy i'm happy to see you <laughs> all right let's check that now what's in the case <laughs> susato steel <laughs> oh my Miss Pavlova's case is open. It's completely empty inside. But according to the great detective's great deduction, she was hiding okay, her special so friend in it. there. <laughs> oh, I hide my special friend under my bed. What? Yes. <laughs> Nothing. It's horny. It, I'm going no, back to horny. Joke. I get it. I get it. Like, wait, yeah. like, more there, of a There's a lot of actions I can go, but I'm going to assume it's the horny one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes, a friend that she had to keep secret. Because you're not allowed to bring animals aboard the SS Buria. I wonder what kind of animal she had in there. And more to the point, where it is now. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess just keep checking out the things that haven't been checked out. All the books have been toppled over together. Look, every single one. Do you think that's a god of the sea, perhaps? <laughs> He's toppled too, though. I think it's, I still think it's the thinker. <laughs> I know. It's exactly Multiple the same. Multiple murder weapons. <laughs> it's exactly the same as the bookcase next door. In Cosima's cabin. Or in Cosima's cabin. Perhaps... Perhaps Miss Pavlova was practicing a difficult ballet pose and fell against the bookcase. I don't know. Would she really be practicing ballet on the same night she ran away from the the ballet company? All right, then. It must have been you. You lost your temper and knocked them all over in a fit of rage. Not everything bad happens on this ship because of me, you know. (laughs) Oh, really? Well... Wouldn't it be, wouldn't Cosma be alive if you hadn't ate all that chicken and passed out? <laughs> well, anyway, I'll set them all straight again in here, too. I don't like seeing things in disarray. Susato organized. I'm seen. Susato straighten. <laughs> does, it, does it spark joy, Susato? Messy things do not spark joy. <laughs> <laughs> Susato Joyspark. Narahoda-san, are you there? 
Uh, sorry, um, right here, yes. Why? Oh, good. W what is this conversation? I thought you might have climbed into the wardrobe <laughs> when I wasn't looking. There's no place like home. Okay, that was pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> Believe me, yeah. I don't have some strange compulsion to jump inside every wardrobe I see, Susato-san. Jump zooms in on Ryodosuke's face. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Mr. Tumnus just pokes outside the wardrobe. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Throwback joke. Well, anyway, I'm not sure anyone could fit inside this one. You want to bet? <laughs> it's full of beautiful outfits. I suppose they're all stage costumes. Hmm. I was rather hoping we might find Miss Pavlova's friend hiding in there. But no such luck. Uh, can we search your bag on the floor there? No, Surprisingly kind of not, which... Uh, I know. I was surprising. like, oh, yeah, clearly. All right, look to the left. Oh, oh there's yes. a... Oh, plate. To the left. I wonder what this little saucer is doing on the floor. Yes. It doesn't look like it's been dropped. More like it was put there deliberately. Ah, do you think... Do you think there could be a leak in the roof God just above it. here? The game got me on that one. <laughs> 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 what? A leak? Is this ship quite safe? I'm... Of I'm... course, it's just... It's called the SS Titanic. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that even if there's a little leak in the roof, it doesn't mean the whole ship is going to sink. No. No, you're right. Of course you're right. She's really trying to persuade herself, isn't she? <laughs> I mean, I think if we can look at the vent, we can also see if there's anything over oh, here. Oh, yeah. Let's read her diary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang it. It's in Russian. <laughs> Shit, I forgot that I can't read Russian. <laughs> there are just a few books on the desk. Nothing else by the looks of it. Well, Miss Pavlova only ran away from the ballet last night. She's hardly occupied this cabin for any time at all. That's true. I wonder what kind of books she likes to read. How to murder people. <laughs> hmm, let me see. <laughs> If I did it, yes. by O.J. Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> by 19th century O.J. Simpson. It's weird that he had to clarify that in, the in his name. I, I guess it would be if I would, if I will do it in the future. <laughs> if I wouldst have done Wait, it. Wait, is O.J. Simpson also a vampire? <laughs> I don't oh, know, man. Oh, shit. We just keep throwing, I mean, we if... just keep throwing people into the realm of timeless deities. <laughs> Hmm, let me see. Yes. <laughs> yes, I see. It would seem that Miss Pavlova enjoys reading. Really quick, Catboy Mothman says, no shit. If I did it, Jack the Ripper. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> Books written in Russian. <laughs> Thanks. I think I probably already knew that. <laughs> it's rude to ask too much of people, Narahoda-san. Kindly remember that. <laughs> I love how sassy both that entire exchange was. <laughs> Their banter gets real good. Ryan's such a little like ball of sass. Yeah, I, I like when he he's like spunky with people. It's fun. Mm -hmm. He's a spunky boy. Mm -hmm. I guess getting accused of murder twice will uh... <laughs> will get you pretty pissed off. <laughs> yeah, really, really shortens your temper. <laughs> I suppose every cabin has a waste paper basket. Shall we have a little look around and see what's been thrown away? No, Horosan! It's poor etiquette to go sifting through someone's rubbish, you know. Ugh, those eyes. She's looking at me like I'm a piece like I'm a piece of rubbish now. <laughs> However, these are special circumstances, I think. Exactly! We have no choice! Oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> what's it gonna be? There's hardly anything in here at all. Oh. Except this handgun. A trash tease. <laughs> oh, well, that's a little disappointing. <laughs> that, was, that was the entire encounter. Okay. It would seem this teapot is empty. Hmm. So the nat natural conclusion is that the Russians are a very thirsty people. What? That was a... He just, he just went herlock there for a second. <laughs> 
Or, because Miss Pavlova only came into this cabin last night, she hasn't had the chance to make any tea yet. I mean, it could be either. It's definitely that they're excessively thirsty. I'd lay 1,000 to 1 on it. <laughs> Why is Ryan randomly stupid now? Yeah, what? You're rather obstinate, aren't you, Narahoda san? I feel like these dialogues should have been switched. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that's everything here, so yeah. Let's... The bumps, oh, God damn it. The bumps. Cabin door. There's no way it could, could enter from outside. Yes, it's not a particularly heavy duty bolt, is it? But still, it wouldn't slide across on its own accord, would it? No, and the door is made of metal. So there's no chance of trickery using magnets to unbolt it from the outside. We don't know how magnets how they work. work. <laughs> Damn it. And it seals up perfectly too, to stop any seawater coming in. So you couldn't use the method you told me of passing a thread through the crack around the closed door either. I seem to know a lot of tricks for opening doors. I'm starting to see why they suspect me. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> So this ventilator connects to Kazuma's cabin door. Yes. Although what a f what a fool a shipbuilder must be to open a ventilator into another room. Ugh. It's like if you're in the adjacent room, you could just crawl through it and murder somebody. <laughs> Maybe. It's so that if there's a gas leak next door, the occupant of this cabin would notice and raise the alarm. Or... The occupants of both cabins would die of gas poisoning. Hmm. That is a possibility. Anyway, last night, Cosmo wrote that he saw a speckled band coming out of his vent uh, out of this ventilator. Oh, that's all we get. Ling -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling. Ah! What's that? Oh, sorry, it's my cell phone. Why off? <laughs> What? Tell me why. Shut down the engines immediately. Vessel sighted a quarter mile four. Full stop. Hard to starboard. All hands, brace for impact. Oh shit, is this the awesome war ship warfare section of this game that I've heard yeah. so much about? <laughs> what the? This case, was in this case was inspired by Hunt for Red October. <laughs> All of a sudden, Sean Connery shows up. Except it's called Con Seanery. Everybody, quick, get out of the ship. <laughs> Con Seanery is amazing. <laughs> I think we're about to crash into another ship. <laughs> God damn it. You Con Seanery. What? I, I, I can't stand. Sasato san, hold on to me. Ah! What if this is like the Pokemon episode where they go underwater? <laughs> oh, fuck yes. That episode is that really was, fucked up, actually. It's so it's so good. They and literally actually, almost died. That's that's I owned a VHS tape that had oh, just I think, that episode. <laughs> it was it was Lieutenant Surge and then into that episode. Oh my and God. that's the last episode is when they're sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Oh yeah. And then there was no more after that. And I remember as a kid being like do they die? What happens? Do they do they just die? Susato-san, are you all right? Are you injured at all? I, I think I'm fine. Thank you, Naruhoto-san. If this was a true, if this was a true Japanese anime, you would have fallen over and accidentally placed your hand on her boob. Yeah, or or his face would have landed in yeah. her cleavage. Yeah. Right, right, in her chest, and I'm like, and oh, I know what everybody's, and I know what everybody's saying. But she's 16. Have you watched anime? <laughs> Have you watched anime? <laughs> then, she, then she'd get up and slap him in the face really hard, and it'd be uh -huh. all laugh, and it'd be uh, there'd be uh, like uh, uh, uh. there'd be like a little she'd make like a chibi face, where she'd have like the v the inward pointing V's as eyes. Yeah, it looks like we avoided a collision. I think. Uh, yes, the ship has come to a stop. Oh my goodness, what about you, Narahoda-san? Are you hurt? Cuts to him just like he fell on a knife that whole time. <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> just a flesh wound. <laughs> a flesh wound? Your arm's off. Uh, 
Hello, is anybody in there? Shout if you need assistance. Oh, that sounds like... Oh, it's Inspector Hosanaga. <laughs> Inspector Hosanaga, I've been practicing my Russian. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> we almost thought you were Beef Stroganoff. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, I've been working on it. Is that you in there, Narahota-san? Unbolt the door, quickly. What? The, the bolt? Oh. If the ship, if the ship rocks, the bolt bolts. Sit down, Zach. You're rocking the boat. Hey. Rock the Musical boat. theater reference. Hey. Over, Look at that. The, the door's bolted. The door's bolted shut. <laughs> if anybody, if anybody knows that reference, put it in the chat because I will love you forever. Why do I? CCC said, "Did Wes just make a Doctor Who, Who reference? It's not that, right?" No, that might have been in relation to something else. No, but which I wouldn't know. It. Tell me what you think that reference was. But no, it's it's from Call of Cthulhu, the oh, Xbox no, no game. Idea. Oh yeah, I know nobody was gonna get that. But when you're like really drunk, and <laughs> your your voice gets modulated down like five octaves. So you're like, oh, when you go to like open locked doors, he goes, the door's bolted <laughs> shut. It's very oddly specific. <laughs> it's very funny. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> Was that you, Susato-san? No, I didn't touch it. Well, that's strange. Then who, how did... And look at all the books. They're just like they were before again. Oh, you know, no, I know what happened. We traveled back in time. <laughs> <laughs> Approximately 12 minutes. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold this on. Aren't you going to open the door and let the inspector in? Susato -san. Why save Jada's whole playthrough of 12 minutes? Susato san are you TM. pregnant? Is the daughter going to be named Dahlia? <laughs> <laughs> it's a ride. I almost said another actual important spoiler for that game, but I won't. <clears throat> yeah, don't, because I still want to play it. Well, let's just watch someone play it. Don't yeah, actually you, play you, it. Don't, you don't need to play it. It's, it's not just, good enough to play. I mean, I'm I'm very glad I watched the same. The while I watched Zach, go, David, and Chris play it because I want I wanted to know, I wanted to play it, but that but getting to watch them was like all the joy of getting to know the story without having to actually do. The frustrating what seemed like game. yeah, what seemed like some sometimes frustrating uh, yeah, I got a aspects. Oh, points. Okay, that's fair. I better tidy this place up at first. First, I must clean. <laughs> our, our violent emergency stop has solved at least one mystery, or one mystery at least, in a very vivid way. But I knew. That what, awaited us, that what awaited us on the other side of that cabin door would not be pleasant. What? What? Oh, Sanaga, you're hideous. I heard... <laughs> <laughs> Dick move. <laughs> I... Why you gotta be like that? Also, like, why is he cleaning the cat? Just open the door for Hosanaga. <laughs> oh, God. No, I it's fine. Think... I don't want Hosanaga to think I'm a slob. <laughs> I'll wait. I hurried around, tight... Tidying up the cabin with a new sense of foreboding in my heart. What? I'm pretty sure my anime, my anime disease, heart disease will totally not kick in while I'm waiting. <laughs> Applebee's, Beast Beast said, well, stream over. <laughs> well, that's what we're going to stop for today, guys. I hope yeah, you guys. The, I hope you enjoy like the 20 sub minutes of gameplay. Yeah, we'll be back in two weeks. It's been, uh, it's been 38 minutes. I think that's about time to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, the door to the cabin we were in ended up bolted after, after we made an emergency stop. Susato-san took a deep breath, then gently slid back the bolt. Uh -oh. That's not... You! What are you doing in Miss Pavlova's quarters? Ah, you both look unhurt. Good. Unlike you. Yes, we're fine. You look fine. like shit. Thank you. 
What on earth happened? We heard something about how we were going to collide with another ship. Yes, it appears to have been a false report, though. What? Oh. How did that happen? There's a dense fog outside, so it's extremely difficult to see. Someone must have thought he saw a ship ahead. This person obviously triggered the alarm, and that's why we made an emergency stop. Everything is chaos. Passengers are screaming. Crew are running everywhere. Cats and dogs, friends. <laughs> Cats and dogs living together. <laughs> this first class area is the only quiet part of the ship at the moment. You know, considering that there's one person dead. And <laughs> yeah. the other cabin is us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Someone triggered the alarm. Does that mean that someone pressed that button outside? Damn, I wish it was me. Ah! You, you wicked intruder, dressed all in black. You are the devil. Okay, well, that's a little... Uh, sorry, me? I've been called a lot of things before, but devil is a first. Oh, get used to it. You opened my traveling case. How could you? What? No, no, I, we didn't touch it. That's right, Miss Pavlova. It was already open when we came into your cabin. Inspector! Um, yes? <laughs> Arrest this man! I know he did it! He is, uh... he is a criminal. Is it not enough that he has killed a man? He, uh, he's already wearing handcuffs. I actually can't do much more. <laughs> uh, Pavlova, <laughs> Pavlova is confirmed as a fake Russian. She said criminal with a C. Uh, That's yeah, true, yeah. Say. Fake Russian, fake Russian. Fucked Boo. up. Boo. Duh! And he is stowaway as well! If Vixen promises not to steal chicken, do you believe? <laughs> what? Believe it! Uh... Damn it. Take him away! He is trespasser as well as everything else. Stowing away, trespassing, killing. <laughs> which I did say with the K, but is always with K. <laughs> she is right! You are devil. Doesn't look good, does it? There is cell below deck. Throw him in. Tomorrow we dock in Hong Kong. Then we give you straight to the police. Uh, wait, a cell? Also, uh, Tanuki Cutie in the chat said faker, and in my head, <laughs> my brain went, "You're the fake Russian." Uh, wait, what is that? How, what's that line of dialogue? Um, from what? You're not even good enough to be my fake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from, from Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic Adventure 2. Oh, oh, yeah. I'll make you eat those words. Yeah. <laughs> I found you, faker. Faker? I think you're the fake Russian around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Huh. You're not even good enough to be I'll my I'll make you fake. eat those words. Uh, I just hey, wanted to do that. Anyway. You're the real fake around here. <laughs> Please, Inspector Hosanaga, is there nothing you can do? This is a Russian vessel. I really have no jurisdiction here. After my last effort to appeal to the captain's good nature, I think I'm out of options. No, there's plenty of space on your face for more bruises. <laughs> that is true. This is terrible. This is a real crisis. I've got to find a solution. Immediately! Immediately! Uh... Escape the vent! Escape in the vent! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Wait, I can't, I can't converse or present? Nope, you gotta examine. Or move and run away. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. Uh... I mean... I'm a little confused about what to... I can just talk to him, I guess? Yeah. See what happens? Miss Pavlova, can I... Get out. Listen, I'm sorry that we snuck in here without your permission, but... Get out now. We just needed to investigate here to help understand... Good luck. Oh, no. <laughs> uh... 
Perfect. Uh, yeah. It's no use. She's not going to listen. I just need to find someone who will. Uh, well, I mean, I, in that case, I feel like Hosanaga will listen, but I don't think he can do anything. You've got yourself into a difficult situation here. Oh, uh, the chat's saying it's uh, Das Vidanya. Oh, it's Das Vidanya? Mm -hmm. All right. That's just me. I thought that's just goodbye. Yes. Yeah, she was saying, I mean. Yeah. Like, bye bye! <laughs> By entering this cabin uninvited, I mean. Sorry, I... I was just so desperate to find a clue. I'm afraid there's really nothing more I can do to help you. If I push my luck any further, a punch to the face will be the least of my worries. I'm really sorry. The Russians invented the pee-pee slap. <laughs> I have to take responsibility of this cabin. Snaga, do you have a weapon on you? Because I can shoot our way out of here. <laughs> oh, shit. Are we going to matrix our way? <laughs> now this has happened, I'll have to report to the captain at once. If only I had Cosmo's sword. <laughs> really? I really need some help here. I need a savior to rescue me from the crisis. Oh, is, is, I need a hero. Is Sean's going to show up and save us somehow? I'm holding out for a hero to the end of the night. He's gotta be British and he's gotta be a detective. <laughs> <laughs> he's gotta that was, be fresh that was, from a deduction. <laughs> he's gotta be dumb as shit. <laughs> Please, just give uh, me a little more time. <laughs> I do nothing for you. Except show you way to ship's prison cell. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. But but I'm innocent. I didn't kill anyone. Oh, well, in that case, go on, get out of here. <laughs> Wait a minute. And trespassing? And stowing away? Uh, well, um, you know, sometimes life can lead you <laughs> down some unusual avenues, and, uh, well... Enough! You are guilty. Ship cell is only place fit for you. Yeah, but she bought a pad. There has to be someone, some savior, to rescue me from this crisis. Suddenly, Jesus Christ walks yes. through the door. <laughs> <laughs> What's Inesuke, up, Inesuke? My How lord, you doing? my lord and savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Inesuke, I'm always here. Just kneel down and pray. <laughs> and then all wow! Of a I never really. And all of a sudden, it's a religious game. <laughs> beef, beef, stroganoff said, "I sigh no lay." Sayed no lay! <laughs> god damn it. Is, is Sholmes just... Yep, thank god. Oh my god! Thank god. <laughs> I had a suspicion that Sholmes would be chilling over there. Oh my Jesus Christ! No, that's that's <laughs> Sherlock. Uh, coat hanger. Your He's own so good. personal detective. <laughs> <laughs> Someone, Someone who solves song. your case. Who sings that song? Has funny face. I believe that's REM. <laughs> no way. Somebody, somebody Cleanly will know. and neatly organize all of your great detectives on one easy, simple coat rack. <laughs> Hi, Billy Mays here. Hi, Billy Mays here for the Hercules Hook. One of the fastest and easiest ways to hang just about anything without any tools. No. <laughs> do you have, do you not know where to put your detectives? <laughs> oh, oh fuck! Yeah, dude, it's the it's the pesh mode. Really? Yeah, it's definitely not REM. Is there a cover? I could have sworn I. Anyways, this isn't important. No, I mean it doesn't. I mean it doesn't sound like REM in the slightest. No, I could have sworn I had one of their <laughs> albums and it had that song on it. It does sound like the pesh mode. Though. What the? What are you doing up there? Oh, I was reenacting Where's Waldo? Uh, Mr. Sholmes! And naturally, I was analyzing what a weight of 20,000 rubles feels like on one's head. I fucking hate this guy. Oh, is he right? <laughs> Have I not told you that as a detective, it is my business to know what other people do not? 
This isn't mere tomfoolery, my boy. Oh, no, no. Sholmes, your look is absolutely busting right now. Oh, yeah. Um, well... Rip. Why were you hanging from that hook before, then? Isn't it obvious? To properly assess the weight of 20,000 rubles, naturally? I wish to determine <laughs> if it would bend that conceited-looking hook on the wall, so full of brag and bounce. Are you going to fight a... A, a hook on the wall? Okay, yes. Here. Yes. Absolutely. I never yes. know whether to take this man seriously or not. <laughs> ah, you again. The great detective. Ah, Inspector. I confess, I've been looking for you. I have something to report to you most urgently. Well, you might try looking for me somewhere other than a hook on the wall next time. <laughs> what is the report? Speak! An urgent report from a great detective can mean but one thing. Yes. The case of the curious murder that took place last night here on this vessel, the steamship Buria, has been solved by me, naturally. What? Really? Yes, I have eliminated all other possibilities. No other explanations exist. So, allow me to illuminate all your minds. For I am about to reveal my great detective's greatly admired great deduction to the case. Ha! You have solved it! Even Hedgehog understands this case. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't diss on Sonic. Yeah, I was going to say Sonic shows up again. <laughs> hey, guys. I You're... figured this case out. <laughs> You're too slow at solving this case. Yeah. <laughs> we all know who was, who was responsible for killing student boy this morning when they found criminal in wardrobe. It is this story. And he has handcuffs to prove it. Okay, but you put them on me. It doesn't make me... The... Okay. <laughs> Talk about a bootstrapping paradox. I didn't do it! The trouble is, there doesn't appear to be anyone else who could have killed the victim. Because, as everyone knows, the cabin door was bolted shut from the inside. Yo, dog, there's a fucking vent right there that I've tried to point out to you numbskulls like yeah. 88 times. That means the culprit must be someone who was inside the cabin. Yes, it's what's called a locked room mystery in detective stories. Hey, but... Duh! Locked room! That is point! The room was locked. Well, I can't deny that. There's no way the bolts could have been drawn across from outside the cabin. You are all quite mistaken. The cabin next door is not a so-called locked room at all. What? Oh, yes. There is another entrance. Through the blood dimension. <laughs> An entrance used last night by the culprit in order to gain access to the cabin despite the bolted door. What other entrance? We never discovered one. Why, it capes open-mouthed at you even as we speak. The ventilator man. Ventilator, the ventilator. man? <laughs> was he one of those oh, no. happy villains in Suicide Squad? I thought it was a <laughs> boss from Mega Man. Oh, that's also good. <laughs> I thought it was a new horror film from Blumhouse. <laughs> Directed uh, by Jordan Peele. <laughs> I, I, got, I got it. <laughs> you think this is funny? I cannot even put my arm through that hole. That's because your arms are as thick as tree trunks. Damn, he ripped. You're suggesting that the culprit entered and, entered and left the victim's cabin through that tiny opening? It's not possible. Ah, but it is. Oh, well, in that case. And last night, 
The victim even witnessed the intruder and the act of passing through the ventilator. Mr. Sholmes, do you mean... Are you referring to the words Cosmo Summer wrote in his diary? 1.23am, I can hear a faint whistling sound. 1.35am, what looks like some sort of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. Precisely, my dear madam. But what does it mean? What is this speckled band? The answer to that particular conundrum is in this very cabin. Oh, he's going to bite someone. Mr. Sholmes, what are you doing? I'm dancing. <laughs> there is a distinct element of danger. But fear not, I am ready. What I'm about to expose for you all to see will shock you to your cores. Behold! Our apple cores? <laughs> Baltimore's? Baltimore's? Who's your, who are your friends? Who's your, who's your friend? Hey. <laughs> Uh, is this is this Ryan? Sure. I don't think it really matters. Uh, what? What the? <laughs> what the ah! fuck? <laughs> I am Snake Man. <laughs> <laughs> you fools! I have tricked you all. I am Snakehead Guy. <laughs> My I'm... name is not Spitzdog. No, it is Snakehead Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I am not actually man. I am not actually man. I am just one large snake in a, in, in several raincoats. <laughs> we I sneak am mad in. Being we controlled by a snake. <laughs> we sneak into we snake into R-rated movies all the time. Oh my god. I'm a snake a snake. I'm a snake. I'm a slithery little snake. <laughs> I am slithery little snake. I am snakey snake. <laughs> Allow me to introduce you all to Snakehead Guy. <laughs> Snakehead Guy. <laughs> <laughs> to the band. The Speckled Band. Oh, what what genre of music do they play? I was gonna, damn it, I was just gonna say, <laughs> play Freebird. <laughs> A snake. Indubitably. Oh, Get a snake head guy. You're the man my I've been chasing down my entire, my entire career. <laughs> I've been chasing down snake head guy. <laughs> and now I've finally cornered him. I've got you right where I want you, snake head guy. I wasn't here to protect Cosma. I was here as my own personal <laughs> quest to stop snake head guy. <laughs> it wasn't the Japanese government that sent me. It was my own thirst for revenge. <laughs> After what Snakehead Guy did to my family. <laughs> Snakehead Guy killed my wife. <laughs> and then he bit me, which, caused, which poisoned me and caused my fatal plot disease. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> and then, uh, uh last... Uh, anime last... Uh, I think last bit of Herlock... Sh Herlock Sholmes. Sherlock Holmes facts which this kind of already was said in the beginning, but the perpetrator of the crime in the Speckled Band story is a big, large swamp adder. Big old big huh. snake. It's Mr. Snakehead Guy. It's Mr. Yes, Snakehead it is snake, Guy. It is Snakehead Guy. Snakehead it's, Guy canonically is the character. Grimsy Rupert very, is very just a co very, cover. Very, very famous Sherlock Holmes villain. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like, Moriarty's the most well-known, but yeah. right after him, Snake yeah. Snakehead Guy. Snakehead yeah. Guy. Honestly, I'm pretty sure they were about to make another season of Sherlock on BBC, but Benedict Cumberbatch had to drop out, but it was going to be featuring Snakehead Guy. Oh, my God. I can't wait till the next Robert Downey Jr. movie where he faces Snakehead ah, Guy. Ah, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Let, 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 me, let us know who you think should play Snakehead Guy in the next Robert Downey <laughs> in the, Jr. In Sherlock the chat. Oh movie. <laughs> so stupid. Give us your best casting choices for Snakehead Guy. Like, comment, and subscribe, and remember to hashtag Snakehead Guy. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> also, several people says, say Keanu Reeves should play Snakehead Guy, and that's really good. Ooh, hell yeah. <laughs> I would love to see Keanu Reeves as Snakehead Guy. I'll watch that. Hey, it's me, Snakehead Guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're one. You're amazing. <laughs> you're beautiful. What, is, what was it? You're beautiful. Yeah. It's you're beautiful. Yeah. God damn it, that's so funny. I'm a slithery little snake. <laughs> um, Mr. Sholmes, just one thing. Pray, what troubles you? Well, that snake isn't really speckled, is it? It looks more stripy, wouldn't you say? Hmm? Yes, you're right. I think in this case you'd have to call it... Snakehead Guy. <laughs> the, the striped band, wouldn't you? Sholmes just like storms <laughs> off. Fuck. God damn it! I can't Shomes, have one little idiot. deduction! <laughs> <laughs> you both see and observe with distinction. However, do you not think that is precisely the trap into which the culprit wishes you to fall? Oh my goodness, really? It's a trap? It's a trap? I'm not yeah. how, just un how just unshaken Biff is. But yeah, like that. he's just chilling. He's just chilling. There's a which fairly large snake coiled around his face. Well, I don't know... I don't know if it's actually this, but in my head, the reason he has those tan lines is because of the snake. Oh. Because if you look at his head, yeah, there's yeah, like yeah, the yeah. weird, like, coiling tan totally. lines around his head. That's oh, what I think it is from. So he just had a snake around his head for an incredibly He just goes sun tanning with a snake around his I head? I mean, he, no, he really is snakehead guy because he's, he's constantly oh, got that true. snake on him. That's true. That's a snakehead guy. How exactly... I think perhaps it is time I explained the intricacies of my train of thought. Are you ready, Miss Pavlova? I'm sorry for the young man who died, but that is all. His death is nothing to do with me. This whole thing is nothing to do with me. I mean, I'm going to feel bad if she actually did it. There are two conclusions I have drawn from the facts. Number one, you totally did it. Last night, your friend infiltrated the victim's cabin. Uh. And number two. Number two! Kids next door. That I same friend out. was responsible for the victim losing his life. No. She's turned as white as a bowl of rice again. Sholmes must be right. He's hit the nail on the head. He's hit the nail on the snake head. Guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate how stupid that is. We've made it such a long running joke now. It's so good though. This young woman's friend killed Mr. Asogi? <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> it looks like he can't speak with that snake coiled around his head. <laughs> I would advise as little movement as possible, Seaman. <laughs> uh, Out of nowhere, fucking uh, Voldemort just shows up and he's like, Nigiri, lunch. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Where were you? Sholmes! <laughs> Snakehead guy! <laughs> You wouldn't want the fangs of that long friend in your neck. So everyone, let us begin. Herlock Sholmes is proud to present his logic and reasoning spectacular. <laughs> also, Croissant just said snake a which is the funniest shit to me. <laughs> uh... Miss Pavlova, moments ago you claimed the following. So cool. His death is nothing to do with me. This whole thing is nothing to do with me. Yet you cannot deceive yourself. Yes, 
when you recall those horrid events, your aching heart smarts with pain. And it is that very pain that evidences your inextricable link to the victim's death. So, we ask, what was the nature of this intruder that s stole into the victim's cabin on that portentous night? Why, naturally, it was the friend with which you boarded this vessel, was it not? Ah, as I suspected, another telltale glance. <coughs> Without doubt, your friend is the writhing serpent we see before us. It's not, though. And yet, that fact leaves us in a quandary. The victim's written observations on the night in question tell of a speckled band. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> I love that snake. Also, he doesn't even have any tubes. No, Look he at doesn't. him. Aww. He's trying to be scary. <laughs> Also, I love that it's, it's is... coiling really hard around the dude's head, and every I time know, he's like, just like, <laughs> <laughs> like pulling him. <laughs> Whereas, regrettably, this specimen's markings do not fit that description in any way. What explanation can we give? Can we then give, pray? What was this sight that fell upon the victim's eyes last night? You should just reach for it. No, don't look at me. This has nothing to do with any of this. Oh, but it does. You have the answer to this quandary even now, hidden behind your back. Oh, what the Yes, fuck? that which you are trying but failing to conceal can oh. only be the snake's sloughed skin. I, I thought they were going to be like, oh, well, when it's... Uh... Its original skin didn't have the, the stripes, but I was like, that doesn't make sense, right? Do skins do that? Or do snake skins do that? Well, clearly because Sholmes is thinking it, it's wrong. <laughs> Fair. Duh, 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 duh. You're right, you're right. <laughs> Evidently, after the subtle and horrible crime, this most deadly friend of yours shed its original skin, no? Wow, Zach, how does it feel to have had the same thought as an, as an idiot? idiot? Yeah, it feels, feels pretty bad, man. It feels pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. I I don't know if it, I don't know what you're talking about. Last night, through the ventilator visible in this cabin, your then speckled friend slithered next door. Using the bell cord on the other side as a bridge, the serpent silently descended into the victim's quarters. In the dim light, it appeared to the young gentleman who was about to lose his life as a speckled bat. In summary, the nature of this friend of yours, which last night infiltrated the scene of the crime, is a rare breed of snake whose markings change each time it sloughs its skin. A snake so dreadful, we can only imagine it would be found in the deepest depths of India. Oh, that's a, that's a translation area. It should have said snakehead guy. Moving on, we come to the heart of the matter. The grim demise of the victim. Moving on. Uh, yeah, that's right. I said that. How did this young man lose his life? And why? According to the data of which I have been apprised, it would appear there were no visible signs of injury. Uh. In fact, the circumstances of the victim's death can only be explained by a terrible venom. Now, if we take that as a fact, we can resume we can reasonably imagine that there were remains that there remains evidence to affirm it at the scene of the crime. Oh no! Could there be Yes, an examination of the deceased's body will prove the cause of death conclusively. The almost 
but not quite. Imperceptible puncture wounds left by the venomous fangs will seal the truth. Yes, the vestiges of the snake bite delivered by your terrifying friend. This, this makes no sense. There is no point feigning ignorance, Miss Pavlova. After the incident, you endeavoured to hide everything, didn't you? But now your involuntary glance betrays the hiding place you chose. <clears throat> That's right. You hid the evidence that links you to the victim's death in that travelling case. When we first met in this cabin, it came to my attention that your case moved periodically. Your serpent assassin was restless inside, no doubt. Y you don't... It is telling that the victim made note of a low, whistling sound that he heard minutes before his end. That was your signal, was it not? The sound you had used to train your serpent friend. Train? Indeed. You'd put the serpent through this ventilator and wait. After a period, you'd summon it back with a whistle. That little, like, very energetic whistle sound. <laughs> you couldn't know if the animal had done its duty, so you would listen for signs of life next door. If the victim appeared not to have been dispatched, you'd release the snake once more. Do you deny this snake has undergone such training? Do you deny this snakehead guy has undergone such training? Look at his body. It's <laughs> jacked. It's not true. Having slithered through the ventilator and down the bell cord, the creature needed only to sink its fangs in once. And its venom would course through the victim's veins, ending his existence forever. That is the true nature of the speckled band that took the poor young man's life. There can be no doubt. My logic is infallible. I mean... Well, let's foul it. Yep. <laughs> Thus concludes Herlock Jones' great deduction of the speckled band. Boo! Ah, my arch nemesis, Boo Guy. It's Ghost Ship. The really shitty movie, Ghost Ship. Miss Pavlova has trained her pet snake as a killing machine. <coughs> there on the floor, you will, observe, you will observe a saucer of milk. The promise of food is the key to training any creature. I incredible! You've solved the mystery! Uh, amazing! Your great deduction really lives up to its name. I see now why Herlock Sholmes has become such a household name. My dear man, it was nothing remarkable. As the Russians say, I could have done it with one left hand. <laughs> Russians in the chat, can you confirm? Do you say that? Is that a phrase? Um... I don't mean to be that girl, but... <laughs> Could I venture an opinion, Mr. Sholmes? But of course. What's on your mind? It's just about your deductions before. Some things don't quite make sense to me. I welcome questions as to my method, and will answer both loudly and proudly. Good night, everyone. Sholmes is loud and proud. <laughs> I'm strongly, an idiot and I'm proud. Both strongly and wrongly. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, well, good. Well, first of all, I was taking fucking notes. <laughs> Snakes are egg-laying creatures, a part of the reptile family. Nerd. You are well informed, madam. And reptiles, um, don't drink milk. They're lactose ah. intolerant? Weak. 
They lack toast and tolerance. <laughs> I won't. I won't stomach any un intolerant animals on this ship. Hey. <clears throat> It's really only mammals that like to drink milk, you see. So, I'm not sure it would, would be possible to train the snake using milk as a reward. No matter. No doubt Miss Pavlova used some other treat to encourage her pet to do her bidding. And she was the one drinking the milk off the floor. Milk was merely, milk was merely an example. The logic holds. Well, there is something else. Snakes have no ears. <laughs> ah. Yes, so I'm not sure it would really be possible to signal a snake by whistling. But, madam, what of the tales from, Arabi from Arabia? <laughs> I want him to say it like that. Have you not heard of the snakes that dance to the sounds of a flute? My head cannon is that that's how Wes thinks you spell you pronounce Arabia. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where's that? <laughs> you mean Arabia? I think perhaps the performers play their music in time with the snake's natural movements. This actually fucked me up because I was like, Oh yeah. No, yeah, it's it's like That yeah. actually is mm -hmm. what happens. Yeah. Fuck. I am an idiot, just like Herlock Sholmes. Uh, Giant Penguin uh, says, fun fact, snakes have fully formed inner ear structures, but no eardrum. Instead, their inner ear is connected directly to their jawbone, which rests on the ground as they slither. Oh, so do they, like, earth bent? Are they like Toph from Avatar they and they the sense vibrations? vibrations? Yeah. Oh, I see. No hands, no feet, no ears. These creatures are so inept to be, as to be practically useless. Wow, Shums is snakesist. Hey. Wow. All right. Sorry, guys. I don't like, like the rock anymore. Uh, don't <laughs> take it out on the snakes, Mr. Shums. He's anti-snake, and I think that I love snakes. So, sorry. <laughs> I don't like his character anymore. Um, there is one other thing. <laughs> you have more? <laughs> the snakes use the scales on their bellies to propel themselves. So, I'm not really sure that a snake could manage to climb up a flat bell cord like the ones in these cabins. Then it should try harder! <laughs> I'm such a hater. Please, don't be angry with me, Mr. Sholmes. The point is... Even if the snake had gone through the ventilator to the next door cabin, it couldn't have come back without help. What I'm trying to say is you're an idiot. Is that there are a number of reasons why it's difficult to imagine the snake could have had a part in this. <laughs> a broken he man. Died. He died. Sherlock.exe has, has, sto has, has stopped ceased. working. I think... I, I should, should go. go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we need to step in and help and help again, Mr. Narahodo. Oh no, you don't mean. Yes, you're going to have to dance again. <laughs> you're going to have to play the video Mr. game. We need to modify Mr. Sholmes' latest latest deductions and turn them into the great ones they ought to be. I had a feeling this was coming. <sighs> All right, let's give it a try. Just what I was waiting for, Mr. Narahodo. No, you don't. You don't get to claim this. Yes. Right. This was the plan all along, to get you to shine like the bright, shining star you are. So, cast your eyes down to your wrists again. What? You... you got me again, you son of a gun! Your handcuffs are gone. Where did they go? Oh, you don't want to know that, wink wink. Fear not, I shall see they're restored after our work is done. I really wish you'd just leave them off. Now everyone, let us begin. Herlock Sholmes is proud to present 
His logic and reasoning spectacular. He doesn't. I, it's a little annoying that he does that twice. The part will. The part where Rianosuke does all the work for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm dumb as a rock. All right. Okay. Uh, Here's my uh, to go. Nothing to do with me. me. I feel like I had. Oh, did I not have the? Maybe I didn't Hot save it again screen. since I did the thing. <clears throat> she does have a pained expression on her face. Yes, that's true. She looks as though Kazuma-sama's death is weighing heavily on her mind. But you're not sure Mr. Sholmes has read her quite correctly. Is that it? Could there be some other way to interpret her expression, then? Mr. Sholmes, read her for filth. <laughs> Let's take a moment. And really look very closely at Miss Pavlova. Uh, that's that. Is Let's it... do some rotating. Oh. What do we got? Oh. oh, hey, look. She has hey. very clear paw scratches. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. It's literally... Obviously coming from the snake. <laughs> ah, yeah. Snake claws. Snake claws. <laughs> oh, Narahuta-san, look. That looks like a very painful wound. It looks like a scratch made by some kind of small animal. And fairly recently, too. Well, whatever scratched her doesn't appear to be around here. Uh, oh. Oh, duh. Sorry. And then the beat drops. Yes, when you recall those horrid events, that claw scratch smarts with pain. <clears throat> Indeed, and simple observation reveals that the wound is fresh. Just have a scratch, something last night. Oh, that was new, actually. Shit. Well, this is all new. Oops. Everything, everything after the presentation is new. Okay. When I think about the young man who died next door, I feel so sad. And when I am sad. The pain from this wound is worse. <laughs> and it is that very pain that evidences your inextricable link to the victim's death. So we ask, what was the nature of this intruder that stole into the victim's cabin on that portentous night? Why, naturally, it was the friend with which you boarded this vessel, was it not? Ah, as I suspected, another telltale glance. Yeah, this is part I can skip. <clears throat> Without friend. doubt, your friend is the writhing serpent we see before us. <clears throat> it seems likely that the scratch mark on the back of Miss Pavlova's hand is made by this friend of hers, doesn't it? Except, snakes don't have claws, do they? No, they don't. They don't even have hands or feet on which claws might grow. Well then, that but snake... if the snake was attached to a guy... <laughs> Perhaps around his head. <laughs> might that human take have claws on it? If that snake isn't her pet, what is? What's the true identity of this friend of hers? We should follow her gaze, Narahoda-san. That's where we'll find the answer. We'll follow their trail. Wait. Through terror incognita, we will oh. surely blaze. Oh, oh it's, it's a pic look at the picture. Oh. Look at this. Look at that photograph. Yes, yeah, straight up. Oh. Oh, look at the baby. So <clears throat> oh, there you go, Zach. It got, bell, it got a bell on it. Oh, he does say it. <clears throat> oh, look at the photograph in this frame. This must be something Miss Pavlova brought with her when she ran away. I want to tickle his little, his little beans. Oh, the beans All of good. your little beans. She is exceptionally beautiful, isn't she? Yes, that's true. But personally, she's not my type. <laughs> I'm playing for the other team, Susato-san. <laughs> it's a little... I've already got someone, <clears throat> but they're gone now. <laughs> It's the little black creature she's holding that's caught my eye. Maybe we better take a closer look at this. Little black creature. Yeah, really, jeez. 
Uh, you not know what a cat is? Yeah, a little kitten. Look at the little cat Miss Pavlova is cuddling here. Oh, what a cute little kitten! It could vie with you, couldn't it, Naruhoda-san? For the blackest outfit. What the fuck? Hmm, a black kitten. And from the look of this picture, at least, Miss Pavlova seems really attached to it. Uh, well, I'm gonna present that. Yes! yes. Yeah! <clears throat> Without a doubt, your friend is this little kitten we see before us. Yes, the scratch on the back of your hand makes that abundantly clear. Oh no! The whereabouts of this black kitten isn't clear. I can't get over. I just I can't get over the spinning. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, <laughs> it's so good. Sherlock Sherlock lent uh, Rinosuke's his uh, heelys. His heelys. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I always bring a second pair of heelys. But he's like trying them on. He's like, it's Velcro, so you can put them on quick. <laughs> <laughs> when I give you back the handcuffs, I'll want the heelys back. <laughs> but what is clear? That's not a fair trade. Is that you brought the animal with you when you ran away, didn't you? Ah! Darka is my best friend. I couldn't leave her behind. Hmm. Darka would appear to be the Russian blue. To be a Russian blue. And yet, that fact leaves us in a quandary. Darka, 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 darka. <laughs> the victim's written observations on that night in question tell of a speckled band. I how much the snake looks like it wants to just kill Shadow. I'm gonna eat ruin you. her yeah. last day. <laughs> how dare you! Yeah, it's like, I kill you! You have insulted snakes for the last time! <laughs> <laughs> also, the idea of like a, a, a fangless snake just trying to gum you just sounds uh, awful. Adorable. I that love was horrible, it. Actually. I'd just, love it if a snake tried to like gum my hand. Oh, just the feeling of it sounds terrible to me. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be adorable. I mean, better than being actually bitten, but you know. Whereas, regrettably. This specimen's markings do not fit that description in any way. So clearly, this cat shed, shed its, its skin. skin. <laughs> <laughs> I really I forget if he actually says that. I think he what might. What explanation it lines can up. we then give, pray? What was the sight that fell upon the victim's eyes last night? No, don't look at me. This has nothing to do with any of this. Oh, but it does. You have the answer to this quandary even now, hidden behind your back. Yes, that which you are trying but failing to conceal can only be the snake slu oh, he oh, says the okay. snake. No, it. <laughs> it can only be the cat's locked skin. <laughs> Did you see that? She just took something out of her pocket and, hidden by and hid it behind her back. If she just left it in her pocket, no one would have ever known. I don't like playing keep away. I always lose. <laughs> oh yes, ploys like that are Mr. Sholmes' specialty. He's ever so cleverly forced her to reveal something. I thought deduction was his specialty. Or maybe making me believe that was a ploy too. Whatever's clever. <laughs> anyway, I find it hard to believe that this, that's the skin of a snake. In which case, just what is Miss Pavlova hiding behind her back? Uh, okay, well, we're just gonna, we're gonna do a quick rotate -y. Okay, well, I can't quite because the thing's in the way, but I'm sure the game will tell me. Well, it is speckled, and it is a band, but what is it? It seems to be <laughs> soft and fluffy, a long piece of cloth of some sort, and that looks like a handle at one end. I think it may. I oh. think it. I think it may be a cat's toy. This sort is common in the West, apparently. That's my favorite Russia, type of cat Russia toy. Russia is not, but okay. No. How is it a toy for cats? Cats like to chase the band around and paw at it. Kittens in particular love that sort of play. 
You only need to wave it in front of them, and they pounce to grab it. <laughs> that sounds positively adorable. For a loser. <laughs> no, no, it's pretty adorable. God damn it. It's my favorite cat toy. I love playing watching with cats, cats with one of those. Watching cats chase and pot things is amazing. Uh, man, I miss my kitty. Okay, uh, so we're gonna present that, huh? Yeah, because it changed yeah. names. Yeah. So now you can present it. Yes! Yes, the thing you are trying but failing to conceal is um, a, a cat's toy. Top 10 Boria epic fails. <laughs> Precisely, and the true nature of the now infamous speckled band. And it was this toy that you dangled through the ventilator. Tempting Cat Cosima. <laughs> cat made. You wanted to attract Cat made Cosima through the ventilator. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. You waved it around, I presume? Naturally, the victim could not fail to notice it. But. Why? For what reason? My dear boy, there can be only one answer to that. After her feline friend disappeared through the ventilator into the neighboring cabin, Miss Pavlova attempted to use the speckled cat's toy to incite the creature to return. Ah. Oh. In summary, the nature of this friend of Miss Pavlova's, which last night infiltrated the scene of the crime, is a blithesome Russian blue breed of cat by the name of Darker. Yeah! And that cat was so buff it broke his neck. <laughs> Shit. Cosmo is so allergic to cats. His he neck died. snapped. <laughs> his neck snapped in half. He was he coughing so, so hard. hard. He was sneezing so hard from the cat dander that he just went, I should it. Just so unfortunate. <laughs> he died in the stupidest way possible. <laughs> uh, you will forgive us for borrowing the photograph of your pet, Miss Pavlova. Also, uh, Dark Angel all cheered $5 saying, all this talk of cats is triggering Magnus. It's true. He's calmed Aww. down now, though. He's calmed down now, though. He's he's sleeping. He's sleeping in my lap. Little babe. <clears throat> uh it's an entrance to the court record. Great. <clears throat> Fantastic. <clears throat> it was after I gave her her food last night. Did you give her the chicken? <laughs> <laughs> That's when it happened. She scratched the back of my hand, little asshole, and then ran up the bell cord. Before I could do anything, she had disappeared through the ventilator. Darka, she is so naughty. A beloved, beloved kitten. Kitten. Aww. I love kittens. Okay, how did he die? Uh, moving on, we come to the heart of the matter, the grim demise of the victim. How did this young man lose his wife and why? According to the data of which I have been apprised, it would appear that no physical signs of injury. Ah! In fact, the circumstances of the victim's death are really a terrible venom. <clears throat> Okay, okay, okay. What Mr. Sholmes says is true. There were no signs of a wound anywhere on Kazuma Sama's body. That's right. But Mr. Sholmes seems to be unaware of one very important detail. Kazuma wasn't poisoned. Yes, it would seem so. Let's give him a good talking to. <laughs> I think they want you to present so evidence that says why. So basically, you know that. So, so basically. 
Paul, uh, Sholmes has a sort of mental autopsy report, how he thinks yes. he died. Uh -huh. No, you might say that by giving him this, we need to give him the updated, updated, updated autopsy, autopsy, report. autopsy report. Yes, nice, nice, absolutely. Nice, nice. And then yes. can we get... I, I don't know. I don't know if this is... In fact, the circumstances of the victim's death can only be explained by the post-mortem report. Ah, yes. I knew it was one or the other. His neck was... Darker always snaps people's necks. I tell him not to. <laughs> he is such a naughty kitty. <laughs> Indeed, the breaking of the cervical vertebrae is fatal. Only that Goliath would be strong enough to survive that. <laughs> Seaman Stroganov isn't some immortal freak, you know. Oh no, is, are we adding well, him to the actually... incel vampire? <laughs> <laughs> I am vampire snakehead guy. Oh no, he's too powerful. <laughs> Look, only thing besides vampires can live a long time. That's true. Like turtles. The jury is the jury is out. Turtles. Anyway, snake we have on guys. good authority. <laughs> anyway, we have on good authority that the victim's neck was broken, or whatever. <clears throat> now, if we take that as fact. We can reasonably imagine that there were remain that there remains evidence to affirm it at the scene of the crime. Oh no, could there be? Yes, an examination of the deceased's body will prove the cause of death conclusively. Cosma died because his neck was broken. In other words, he was probably struck by something, or someone, or some snake. <laughs> yes. That guy. That's a distinct <laughs> possibility. Also, everybody, thank you for the Snakehead Guy, my new favorite bit. That's really good. Thank you for entertaining us through Snakehead Guy today because it's been my new favorite oh, thing. Oh, God. As of yet, no weapon has been found, though. Presumably, Darker didn't silently creep up behind Kazuma and deal him a, final, a fatal blow. I suppose... It's possible that he had a fall and hit the ground awkwardly. It could have been a terrible act of misfortune that he broke his neck completely by accident. Oh yes, a bad fall could explain it. It's rather hard to believe of Cos. It's rather hard to believe of Cosma Sama, though. He wasn't a clumsy man. Hmm. Well, we need to fix this deduction somehow. Isn't there anything from the scene that could explain what happened? Man, if it's gonna be that he like the cat knocked over some shoe polish and he slipped on it and broke his neck, that's like the most unsatisfying death of all time. <laughs> uh, examination of the deceased's. Body. So what actually should we examine? Oh, is it the the mark on the floor? I don't know. Does that make sense? Uh, I mean, because what will prove the cause of death conclusively <laughs> is the fucking post mortem report. But we just presented that. I mean, I, I, I mean, the post mortem I, report doesn't say what the cause of death was. It's true. Or why why the death happened. I think I think they're looking for more why the death happened more than what caused the death. I mean, I, I think you're right with the mark on the floor. I think okay. it's the only thing that we can. Uh... Oops. Also, you can totally see a, what looks like a bell. Oh, yeah, it's, tro it's the cat's foot. bell. You're totally right. Yeah, the cat's yes. bell. <laughs> yes, an examination of the mark on the floor will prove the cause of death conclusively. This particular mark, so prominently visible next to the victim's body, is a deposit of shoe polish. Shoe polish? Shoe polish? Indeed. Positively identified by a little analysis device I constructed, which I carry now as a matter of, which I, know, which I carry now as a matter of course. Beeswax, tallow, and dye were my results. The undeniable ingredients of shoe polish. Good transition. And the color of the polish 
is is a perfect match to the color of Mr. Sogi's laced leather shoes. Looking at this mark, it's not hard to imagine what happened. For some reason, Mr. Asogi must have caught his foot at this point on the floor and tripped. Please, no. And, by a dreadful turn of his fortune, caught his neck against some immovable object as he fell to the floor. Suffering a fatal blow to the spine, the victim's vertebrae shattered, and in that instant, he lost his life. No! I don't know. I don't know anything about this. Is that really true, Miss Pavlova? What about the evidence left at the scene where Mr. Sogi lost his life? Yes, the facts are as clear as day to me. You did all you could to conceal the incriminating evidence. But now your involuntary glance betrays the hiding place you chose. That's right, you hid the evidence that links you to the victim's death in that traveling case. I... I don't believe it. Kazuma-sama merely tripped over and... And now he's no more. It can't be true! I refuse to accept it! I know it's hard to believe, but... The mark on the floor does seem to suggest that's what happened. But... And... If this is part of Mr. Shom's and if and if this part of Mr. Shom's deduction is right, Miss Pavlova is trying to hide some evidence that would prove it. Here in this cabin, somewhere in the direction that she just cast her eyes. Where, I wonder? Let's have a good look around. The answer must be here somewhere. Uh okie dokie. Look uh, around. Okay, thank you. It's really annoying when that thing just stands in the way. I mean, I was kind of hoping to see the other half of the bell. Uh, let's look at it. This is a waste paper basket. Perhaps all the first class cabins have them. But Miss Pavlova only started occupying this cabin late last night. Presumably, there's not much rubbish in there yet. Oh, yeah, okay, got him. Oh! Oh, what's that? It's a broken piece of glass, isn't it? Yes, it is. But I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. If it looks familiar, perhaps it's more than your mind simply playing tricks on you. Nah. Probably that. I mean, I've just seen a lot of bells in my life, so... I mean, <laughs> it could be any of them. You know, when, when, when I go Cosmo to church... dresses in his cat Taco outfit, Bell. he wears bells. Taco Bell. <laughs> This episode is sponsored and, by Taco I mean, Bell. Taco Bell is, is a big purple bell, basically. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean. All right. Uh, I think Cosmo is just getting confused that he wants some uh, Doritos Locos Tacos. <laughs> Everybody about... check out Taco Bell. Nobody out tacos the bell. <laughs> tinkle, the outside the, tinkle outside the binkle at Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Bell. What is that? You your family. <laughs> I mean, uh, there's this meme there's this like it's like a short like i think i said an old tiktok song this person just terribly butchering restaurants mottos and oh, names yes. uh -huh. so it's like tinkle outside the binkle at taco baco um <laughs> tinkle outside yeah. the binkle really eat, eat beef at like sp at, like speedies instead of subway or something wow that's, <laughs> that's wild <laughs> Also, Zach... McDonald's Old Fashioned Hergis Burgess. <laughs> Hergis Burgess is so good. <laughs> also, saying? Zach, you said it wrong. It's not Taco Bell when it's Taco Bell when you're here. You're familia. <laughs> Taco Bell. When you're Vive, here, Viva more. When you're here, Vin Diesel will steal cars with you. Because <laughs> your family. Uh, I'm gonna it. present the I, fucking I get waste it. basket. <laughs> That's right. You hid the evidence that links you to the victim's death in that waste paper basket. 
Here we have a fragment of some intricate glass object, it would seem. One that has a familiar air, in fact. Precisely. We found another... Excuse me. We found another piece of broken glass on the floor in Mr. Osogi's cabin. And, as you can see, the two pieces fit together perfectly. Oh, no. Do not ask for whom the bell tolls, Miss Pavlo. Mm. It tolls for ye, for thee. So, Miss Pavlova, shall we consider what this tells us? Why would it be that part of this glass object, which was evidently broken at the scene of the victim's death, should be found in the waste Skitties, paper basket please. in your cabin? Giant penguin, you know what I'm talking about. Spubby <laughs> e free. <laughs> e free. Thank you. You're well acquainted with no, this glass no, bell, are you I was not? referring to. I really like e free. <laughs> You're well acquainted with this glass bell, are you not? I... I don't... I don't know. In that hushed Russian accent of yours won't save you this time, dear girl. Why? Because we have conclusive evidence linking you to the bell in question. What? Take it away, Mr. Naruhodo. Um... Yes. <clears throat> The evidence That's his way of saying he doesn't know. Yeah. The evidence linking Miss Pavlova and the little glass bell. That would be... The picture. I mean... That we yeah. got, like, two minutes ago. Mm. How convenient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! Oh. oh, wow. He said it again. Getting off to a strong <laughs> count in this case. I know, right? If you look at this photograph, you can clearly see... Hanging from darkest collar. The very glass bell in question. I... The truth has caught up with you, Miss Pavlova. The young man who lost his life last night did so after a truly inauspicious fall. And cause of that fateful stumble? Your shitty cat. Oh, here we go. Oh, Three, two, cat. one. Your, your absent, absent feline, feline friend, friend, Darker. Darker. Shit. <laughs> we'll almost. get it right the next time. We almost had it that time. Close That's clock. Mike 8. I think Zach's Mike 8 part of that. Oh, great. God damn it. Got it in one. I couldn't. I couldn't tell anyone. I'm sorry. Oh. <sighs> Death by tripping over a cat. <laughs> Yo, hey, that sucks. <laughs> hey y'all the coolest the coolest boy, the dumbest death. That no, we're sucks. We're still not done with this yet. <sighs> Why? I'm, for real, that just like took the wind out of my sails. That fucking sucks, y'all. <laughs> <sighs> Why don't you tell us now, Miss Pavlova? Tell us exactly what happened last night. It was a little after one in the morning. It was so late, but I hadn't had time to feed Darka. So I gave her some food. And then, all of a sudden, she scratched me and jumped out of my hands. People do say that cats become very anxious and nervous in new environments. She was so fast, she disappeared through the ventilator before I could stop her. And that is how you acquire the rather nasty wound on the back of your hand, I take it? Yes. And I had read the, um, rules on the wall. I knew that I was not allowed to darker with me. Yes, a modern science suggests that animals can carry infectious diseases. It's a precaution, really. 
Have you heard of mad cow disease? It'll be all the rage in like a hundred years. So I listened and listened, trying to hear if there was some noise in the next cabin. It was very quiet. I was sure if someone was there, he must be sleeping. It sounded like two people were wrestling. <laughs> It sounded like what would sound like when my mommy and daddy were fighting. Oh my god, no. <laughs> so at that point, you thought it... Oh, excuse me. So at that point, you thought it safe to try to lure the kitten back again? By dangling the end of the toy through the ventilator and into the adjoining cabin. Darko always loves this toy, but it didn't work. Nothing worked. I tried using her favorite toy. I tried whistling to her softly, but nothing. She didn't return. So the faint whistling sound Cosima wrote about in his diary was Miss Pavlova trying to retrieve her pet. Cats have a propensity to remain hidden in the shadows when frightened. Yes, so... There was nothing else I could do. I just had to wait until she calmed down. But then... Oh, God. Dark a fucking murdered. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, if, if anyone's feeling this, this is, not a, this is not a mandatory, like, Wes is invoking, please draw this. I would just love to see Dark a... Like after <laughs> Cosmos knocked over, Darka animated with like a JoJo like dark lines and the little like <laughs> JoJo like looming characters over his back. I, mean, yeah. I would love to see that. That's pretty funny. not necessary. Uh, we also had several cat puns. Uh, uh, Giant Penguin said, "Looks like the chat really isn't feline." This plot twist. And uh, Dark Angel Law says, of course, that had to be the cause of this catastrophe. Ooh, fuck yes. <sighs> Everybody, you're on top of it. I heard her cry out and then, oh, it was such a dreadful bang. Then afterwards, nothing. It was totally silent. Cosima was... From the appearance of the brown mark on the floor. I'm not going to make the joke. I'm not going to make the joke. Ah, it seems likely that what you heard was the victim stepping on the glass bell and tripping up. The SS Buria is a large vessel, but even she can pitch and roll violently without warning. If Mr. Isogi was already off balance as a result of the ship lurching when the kitten got under his feet... The combination of unfortunate factors would easily have caused him to fall over. You whore. I'm going to murder you. You killed Katana boyfriend. But what became of the kitten afterwards? In the end, I managed to get her to come back through the ventilator. Catboy Mothman says the music does not fit, and yeah, it sure don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yet, Darker is nowhere to be seen. Snakehead I man ate it. him. He's, he's an invisible cat. My logic is infallible. <laughs> I must have forgotten to lock my case. And now she's disappeared again. Gracious, that cat is as insufferably restless as I am. Well, he knows something about himself, at least. When I woke this morning, I heard that a young man in the cabin next to mine had died. But I couldn't bring myself to tell anyone what had happened. Aww. I was too scared. Scared that 
they would send me back. Oh, hold on a minute. I don't care. What about the Roast. snake? You're right. Where is it? Oh, wait. Wait, wait the snake's not here? <laughs> if the snake... If the snake isn't your friend, Miss Pavlova, then whose is it, and where did it come from? Oh my god. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> That's really adorable, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is such a dangerous creature doing on board this ship? <laughs> oh, I didn't say. Snake is my friend. His name is Piroshko. Hi, Piroshko. What? That snake belongs to you? He escaped from cage when emergency alarm sounded. I was looking for him. I did not expect to find him in here. Yes. How did that snake get into the cabin? Uh, giant penguin with the lore, Snake's pun name Pirosko is actually a play on Piroshok, or roughly uh, P Pirazok, Pirazok, a type of puff pastry originating in Russia and Ukraine. Typical uh -huh. Pirozok is uh, boat or rarely crescent shaped, made of yeast leavened dough with a filling completely, completely encl enclosed. Common savory fillings include ground meat, mashed potato, mushrooms, boiled egg with scallions, or cabbage, but it can also be made with fruit. So it's like a savory... Uh, it's like a yeah, pastry, savory almost. It's a savory like a pastry. pastry, yeah. Yeah, ooh, that sounds really yummy, actually. Oh, Damn it, now I want one. <laughs> but... Animals are not permitted on board. Ha! We are at sea for one year! You want to be so long without close friend? Without someone who understands? What? What? How lonely is this man? Aww. He needs his snack friend. Couldn't you find someone a little more human who understands you better? Don't listen to them, Stroganoff. <laughs> no one understands you like I do. Avada <laughs> Kedavra! <laughs> it's gotta be the really dumb one that he does. Yeah. <laughs> but my dear burly fellow. A gargantuan venomous snake? Surely you can appreciate the danger you're putting everyone in. We don't know Love if it's it. yeah, I was gonna say, we don't know if it's venomous. Hmm? Piroshko does not have venom. He is harmless. Very long, but very gentle. He is adorable, like Granny. It's true. How tall is your Granny? <laughs> it's venomless? Yes. Now he is hungry, so he is in bad mood. But once I feed him, you will see big smile. <laughs> and you feed him... What? Milk, I suppose? No, uh, human. <laughs> Die! <laughs> ha! Like they say they milk chickens? Ridiculous. What? Snakes that drink milk are only in stupid stories. Piroshko eats mouses. Big, fat, round mouses. Uh, oh, so... So is we were almost the... his food. Yeah. Is that what the mouse trap in the passageway out there is for? Of course. How else can I catch my friend favorite food? Nothing says top of the food chain like like the look in their eyes right now. <laughs> oh no. The shadow <laughs> anime face. It refuses to drink milk. Oh, he really it can't hates hear a whistle. It can't climb up a bell cord, and it's not even venomous. How the deuce did something so inept land a starring role? How <laughs> dare you? This guy is such a snake. Woo, woo, woo. He's a snake's nest. What a dude. It's not my fault. 
I do not make up stories. My piroshko has nothing to do with this incident. So, that's what happened. That's the truth behind my best friend's tragic death. Pretty anticlimactic. <laughs> I still see you. <laughs> Miss Pavlova. I understand the difficult situation you found yourself in. And I do sympathize. But you killed Katana boyfriend. You now must die. But please remember this. A young man lost his life. If you're going to attempt to cover up your guilt with lies, then... Then no matter what the circumstances, I cannot forgive you. But... What are you talking about, Miss Mikotaba? What lies? Miss Pavlova just confessed everything. It was just a series of unfortunate events, TM. An accident. <laughs> Lemony Snicket comes out. Lawsuit. <laughs> they got away from... Don't you mean, uh, don't, don't mean, don't mean Lemony Lickett? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, they got away with... Uh, Arthur Conan Doyle's estate, but they won't get away from uh, Lemony Snicket. Nah, and this, it's the series of bad happenings. <laughs> the chronicle of bad happenings. That's even better. I'm no great detective like Mr. Sholmes. I don't have a gift for knowing the truth. But even I can see. That was not the truth. Damn. Don't you agree, Mr. Narahodo? Yeah, because someone had to write Russian. Someone had to try and write the Russian Nexus body. To be perfectly honest, yes. There's a discrepancy in Miss Pavlova's story. I'm sure of it, but I just can't quite put my finger on it. <laughs> 